This plugin dashboard is the first thing you'll see after activating Tevolution. Here you can manage various modules included with the plugin. By default they are all activated, but you can easily turn them off by clicking on the deactivate button. We recommend that you never deactivate custom fields manager, custom post type manager and monetization modules. Your site will not be able to function correctly without them. If you're unsure what each module does, click on the Activate All Tours button to turn on the tours. This custom post type section is likely the most unique aspect of Tevolution, since most of the other features were available in previous Templatic themes. On this page we can see post types managed by the plugin. To add a new one we just click on this Add Custom Taxonomy button. Don't be confused but by the alternate use of terms Custom Post Type and Custom Taxonomy. This is because you can't create one without the other in Tevolution. You'll always be creating post types with matching taxonomies. So even though they're not the same thing it really doesn't matter which term is being used. Anyway, let's create a post type. Let's hit save. After we save, you'll notice new options added to WordPress dashboard. From here, you can easily create new content for that taxonomy. The plugin also created three matching sidebar areas. We can see these by going to Appearance, Widgets. This is done so you can provide unique sidebar content for each post type. Bulk upload section in T-Evolution is very similar to what you are used to seeing in existing Templatic themes. The section enables you to import and export all post types available on the site. A big difference here compared to existing themes is the ability to bulk update the content. I can demonstrate this by exporting and then importing the same file. We can do this with events. Export. import okay okay it's done and we can see that zero events were imported 18 were updated and none were skipped 18 sounds about right let me check yep there are 18 events on the site we updated them all. Custom fields are likely the most important feature when it comes to front-end content submission. It is what your visitors will see inside the submission form. In Tevolution there are no hard-coded fields. Every field you see in the submission form can be tweaked from here. New fields are created using this Add a Custom Field form. To help you better understand how this form works, we created a separate video which explains most of these options. The video is provided in the Tevolution Guide which can be accessed in our Documentation Center. Most existing Templatic themes are designed with options that will enable you to make money. The same mindset was applied to Tevolution as well. This monetization section is where you'll do most of your money making. Under currency settings, you can choose which currency to show on your site. Since everything is manually entered, you can use pretty much any currency. Please make sure that the currency code you entered matches the code used by PayPal and other gateways. Currency position lets you tweak the symbol relative to the price. While US dollars are shown before the price, currencies such as Swiss francs are generally shown after the price. Under the Price Packages tab, you can manage the actual payment options. The plugin will create one or two by default, but you can always add more by clicking on Add New Package. 
the most important feature here is selecting the package type. The package can be charged per post, meaning the visitors will have to pay for each submission, or the type can be per subscription. That will allow users to submit several posts in a specified time frame. Other options available in this form are explained in the Tvolution guide. Payment Gateways tab allows you to activate and deactivate payment methods that are available to your site visitors. By default, only three are available, but you can add more by visiting the member area. There is a special section just for them. Manage Coupons tab does what you'd expect. It enables you to create coupons that can be used to achieve discounts on price packages. You can create a start and end date for each coupon you create. The submission page is probably my favorite aspect of Tevolution because this is where all your created post types, custom fields and price packages come together. Before Tevolution, submission pages were hard to customize and their URL was extremely hard to change. This GeoPlaces submission page has a fixed URL that cannot be modified. It's also impossible to easily change the layout. However, in Tevolution, submission pages are regular WordPress pages powered by a unique page template. To create a new submission page, all you must do is navigate to Pages, Add New, and create a page like you normally would. Then, under Template, choose the Submit Form template and wait for extra options to appear. Now specify the post type for which a submission form will be created. Let's say we also want to tweak the layout. The sidebar can be removed by selecting the one column option. Let's publish and go to that page and we created a new page with our title content and URL in seconds. We also removed the sidebar. What happened is the plugin pulled all the custom fields you created for this post type, pulled all the price packages and constructed this page. Using this method you can easily create a submission form for each of your post types. User Custom Fields area works similarly to the Custom Fields section previewed earlier, but instead of providing fields for the submission form, this section enables you to add fields to the register form. This form right here. To add a new field, we need to click on this Add a new field button. While submitting the field, we can set the field type whether or not it's mandatory and whether or not to show it on the registration page amongst other things. Let's create one field and see how it looks in the actual register form. Let's click Save All Changes. Let's go to the form, refresh and we can see that the field was added. This general settings area is where you can make various tweaks to the plugin. Even though the section has a number of different options available, we avoided stuffing too many settings in there. Instead, we provided options where it made the most sense. For instance, you won't find map settings inside this area. These settings will appear automatically once you select the appropriate page template. I can demonstrate this by going to Pages, Add New. Here. If I select the map page template, settings will appear. Not only does it make more sense to show these options here, but it also allows you to set up multiple maps with different settings. Okay, let's go back to general settings. 
Most of the options available here are pretty self-explanatory. I'll just explain this one. Show custom fields category-wise. This option enables you to turn on category-specific custom fields. If it's set to no, your submission form will show all created fields, for that post type of course. If you plan on using custom fields only with a particular category, this must be set to yes. Under claim settings, you can choose the post types for which to enable the claim ownership functionality. In CAPTCHA settings, you can choose between standard CAPTCHA and playthrough. Playthrough is a relatively new system that presents a short game instead of scrambled text. We can see this system on our showcase site. Okay, let's play a quick game. Put the drinks in the cooler. And that's it. As you can see, it's much faster than regular CAPTCHA. Here in CAPTCHA settings, you can also choose which forms should be protected with CAPTCHA or Playthrough. In email settings, you can edit the emails that are sent to your visitors. We also provided a legend so you can easily include dynamic information inside your emails. Under Templatic widgets, you can turn on or off certain custom widgets. Security settings tab enables you to block specific IP addresses. Also, this is where you can enable SSL for submissions or register pages. We hope this video managed to demonstrate the power of Tevolution. This is of course just the beginning. The plugin will be improved upon frequently with various tweaks and even entirely new features. If you have any questions about Tevolution, don't hesitate to contact us. And of course, thanks for watching.